Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll learn about advanced dimensioning tools. And if you are not familiar with the basic dimensioning tools, I suggest you to go to the previous video. The link for previous video is mentioned right now on the screen. And uh, let's recap a little. In our previous video, we have learned about all these basic dimensioning tools, linear, align, radius, arc, and all these basic dimensioning tools. We also learned about continue and baseline dimensioning style. So if you want to learn about them, which are very important tools, then go to the previous video. Now in this tutorial, we'll learn about jogged, ordinate, and all the small remaining tools which are present on this dimensions panel. So let's start with ordinate dimension. So ordinate dimension is another type of dimensioning style in which we use coordinates, x and y coordinates to dimension our points or dimension or geometries. Now, in this case, we first specify a base point and all the dimensions are measured from that base point. Right now you can see that this point is the origin as indicated by X and Y axis. So I've selected ordinate and now click on this point. Now since you clicked on this point, it will indicate either X axis or the Y axis depending upon its position or where you put it. So right now I'm putting it downwards and this will indicate its X axis. Now let's go on and add another point. Again, I'll go to dimensions and now I'll add another point over here. And now again, this is indicating the X axis. But in this case, this is the distance between this point and this point. Or you can say that this is the distance between origin and this point. Let's again add the third point. And in this case, this is the distance between this origin and this point. So in this case, we are not entering X and Y coordinates. Also, we are not entering distances between these two points, but we are entering distances from origin to that particular point. So this is another way of entering dimensions and make sure that you understand it well that these dimensions are X coordinates of these uh, points. Now the same method can be applied for Y coordinate as well. So let's go to this dimension, click here and obviously this will be zero and this is the Y coordinate. Now again click here and let's select another point. And now this is the height. So the distance between this to this point is two units or you can say the distance of this point from origin is two units. Now there is another kind of dimension which is called jogged dimension which is added at the places where we don't know where the center point of that geometry is. So we can use jogged dimension. So select jogged dimension, click on this geometry and now look at the command line. Command line is just asking you to specify a dimension or center override. So click at the point where you feel that the center is. So center is obviously downwards so click here. Now the jog dimension will start from here and now click anywhere on this dimension line where you want to put this dimension and where you want to put the jog line. So now in this way the jog dimension is added and this is indicating that the center is not present here. It is somewhere in this direction and the radius is obviously 4.94. Okay, so now let's move on to this drawing. In this drawing, you can see that this is already dimensioned in a very random way. All the dimensions are not properly arranged. And now we'll make some manipulations of these dimensions and we'll make them look better using our dimension manipulations. So now let's first start with the dimension break. Now dimension break is used wherever you want to break the dimension line, which is crossing the geometry or other dimension line. Let's explain this fact from this geometry. Now here you can see that this dimension line is crossing this geometry and this dimension line is also crossing this another dimension line here. So for breaking dimension, select break and then select your dimension and now press enter. So as soon as you will do this, you will see that the dimension is now broken at the point where it intersects either a geometry or other dimension. And in this way, you can clearly see or you can clearly indicate that the dimension line is this one and the geometry is this one or this one is another dimension line. Okay, so now let's move on to dimension spacing. Right now here you can see that the dimensions, these four dimensions are not spaced properly. 
and we want to space them properly for that select dim space or dimension space now look at the command line it's prompting you to select the base dimension and the base dimension will be the dimension whose position will remain fixed so let's select this dimension as the base dimension and now the command line will prompt you to select another dimensions which you want to space so obviously we want to space all these three dimensions and now press enter now command line will prompt you to select a uh, spacing and I'm entering a space or a gap of one unit and press enter as soon as you will do this you'll see that the base dimension remain at its own place and the space get evenly distributed and this gap is now one unit so in this way you can adjust the space between dimensions now there is one more thing that is adding a jog line to dimensions a jog line is basically added if you have a very large geometry which cannot fit in small piece of uh, paper and for example in this case right now we have 10 units and we actually know that this 10 unit is equal to the distance between this and this point but what if this distance is 20 units which is falling outside our paper and we still want to mention it for that we'll enter a jog line so let's select this jog click on the dimension line on which you want to add this jog dimension and now click on the point so here we have it so we can enter it anywhere so let's click here and now here we have this jogged symbol which is added to this dimension okay so I hope this is clear to you okay let's move on to next options so there is an option of quick dimension it is very handy tool and it can be used to make dimensions quickly so let's select quick dimensions uh, with quick dimension you can enter radius uh, distance between two points or length of a line very quickly it automatically detects which dimension it needs to put on for example uh, let's select this circle and now press enter and now you specify a point where you want to put the dimension of the circle and now here you can see that the dimension has been put as radius 3.06 it automatically identified that this is a circle or a circular object now let's select this quick dimension and let's try to dimension this line so click on this line press enter and now you can see that a dimension is accompanying this again if you want to make it vertical you can go to this direction and now want to make it horizontal you can make it something like this so now let's click here and the dimension is added so in this way if you want to specify dimensions quickly you can use this quick dimension also so let's get rid of this dimension from here and now let's move on to another tools so here we have some dimension editing tools let's move on to this oblique so right now this is a completely horizontal dimension if you want to make oblique dimensions select this oblique click on the dimension that you want to modify press enter and now enter an oblique angle you can either enter an oblique angle or you can specify angle from your cursor so click on the first point and now make an angle using your cursor and there it is your dimension line will take an oblique angle so this way you can specify an oblique angle to your direct or to your dimension line as well now there are other options for example adding a center mark so in this case you can see that this is this one is an arc with no center mark if you want to specify the center mark for this arc click on this circular object and the center mark will be drawn so here you can see the center mark so this center mark can be uh, useful at some places and you can add center marks in this way so now one of the tool is text angle uh, all the text angle is now zero degree uh, which is now horizontal if you want to change the text angle click on the dimension and now specify angle so here I'll specify angle 30 degrees and now you can see that the text is now rotated to 30 degrees so this way you can enter the angle of text if you want to justify your text to a certain position you can also do this so if you want to justify it to left middle right you can do this let's justify left select left justify right now this text is placed at the center click on this dimension and it will be justified to the left if you want to justify to the center click it and it will be justified to the center and in similar way justify to the right works now there are many other options that can be performed from grips so once you click on dimension line and hover your cursor to that grip the central grip you'll see that most of the options which we have done are present here also 
So here we have move with dimension line, move text, move with leader and there are many other options like if you want to place text above dimension line you can select it, you can place it down, you can center vertically. If you have made manipulations you can reset the text position using this. So the text will come back to its original position. So in this way you can play around with dimensions and you can make manipulations and just go on and play on with these dimensions and if you have any doubt if you come across any problems then let me know in the comment box and I'll get back to you.